The following video will walk through basic troubleshooting steps to identify issues within a malfunctioning ACV. This video is not intended to replace published installation instructions or the experience of a trained product installer. Please refer to the startup instructions for further information and product warnings. Consult local codes before beginning any work. When troubleshooting a malfunction, most problems break down into one of three issues. The valve does not open, the valve does not close, or the valve does not modulate. With any malfunction, it's important to first check the system conditions, ensure that any upstream and downstream isolation valves are open, ensure that the shutoffs on the pilot system are open, ensure that the PSI of the upstream supply is as expected. To check that the valve will fully close, close the Eldritch shutoff on the pilot system which will direct full water pressure onto the cover and should, if the valve is operating correctly, modulate the valve closed. Check your downstream gauge to confirm. If the valve does not fully close, excessive debris may be collected within the strainer or there may be an obstruction within the valve body which is preventing the valve from closing. Remove the valve cover and inspect the stem, diaphragm, and valve body for damage or trap debris. For more information on inspecting and repairing the diaphragm, reference the other video in this series. To ensure the valve can drive fully open, close the inlet isolation valve, and with the cover and outlet isolation valves open, the valve should transition to a fully open position. If the valve does not open, water has not been removed from the cover due to a couple of reasons. The pilot control valve is not operating, or the stem assembly is not actuating. Remove the valve cover and inspect the stem, diaphragm, and valve body for damage or trap debris. To check for diaphragm issues, close all three isolation valves, the inlet, cover, and outlet, and vent the cover. If water continues to drain off the cover, it's possible the diaphragm has been punctured and should be replaced. The direct acting pressure regulator on the pilot system also features an internal diaphragm that could malfunction. Identifying an issue is simple. Any leaks from the valve indicate an internal issue. Repair or replace the valve as necessary. Lastly, if the valve is not delivering the expected downstream pressure, check that the upstream pressure has not dropped below the valve set point. If the supply pressure is dropped, the valve won't supply the expected pressure. With municipally supplied water, there's little that can be done about a drop in upstream pressure. For additional information on ACV, head to watts.com.